This presentation discusses variable frequency drive basic working principle and how installing variable frequency drives in appropriate applications could save a lot of energy. Following are the topics we are going to cover in this presentation. A brief background to recall some basic information about AC motors. Then we'll define the VFD, its basic construction, its working principle, its benefits, applications, and drawbacks. The figure here shows a plot of induction motor torque versus speed from zero to synchronous speed. This curve is called the torque speed characteristic curve. What is pull out torque? Pull out or breakdown torque is the maximum torque the motor can produce at full rated voltage and frequency. If the motor is running and is loaded beyond the pull out torque, it will pull out or stall. In an induction motor, the speed at which the rotating magnetic field RMF rotates is known as synchronous speed NS. The value of the synchronous speed depends upon the number of stator poles in the motor and the supply frequency. Therefore, for a given motor of P-poles, the synchronous speed is 120 times the frequency divided by the number of poles. Since the number of poles is constant, RPM of a motor could be varied by varying the frequency. A variation in the frequency means the voltage supplied to the motor is varied. The phase voltage, frequency, and the magnetic flux of a motor are related by the equation below, wherein is the number of turns per phase. If the same V is applied at the reduced frequency, magnetic flux would increase and saturate the magnetic core. To avoid this, magnetic flux is kept constant to avoid distorting the motor performance. To maintain the rated torque for all speeds, magnetic flux is maintained at the rated value by keeping the voltage over frequency ratio constant. Just note that for an induction machine, to produce torque, the rotor must slip. The slip is defined as the ratio of difference of synchronous speed and actual rotor speed to the synchronous speed of the machine. The torque slip curve for an induction motor gives us the information about the variation of torque with the slip. So, what is a variable frequency drive? A variable frequency drive VFD is a type of motor controller that drives an electric motor by varying the frequency and voltage supplied to the electric motor. VFD is also known as variable speed drive, adjustable speed drive, or adjustable frequency drive. Here is a VFD main power section illustration. As could be seen, the variable frequency drive converts constant frequency and voltage to variable frequency and voltage. This allows control of motor speed and torque. Therefore, the VFD has four major power components. Input converter rectifier converts three-phase AC power to three-phase DC power. DC bus filters DC power to be used by the VFD. Output inverter, converter to provide pulse width modulation output. Control unit for programming and controlling the VFD. Let us deep further in each component to better understand. The input converter rectifier converts incoming three-phase AC voltage to DC voltage using three-phase full-wave rectifier with silicon control rectifiers on the bridge. The DC bus filter works as follows. It has an LC filter which is a low-pass filter built with an inductor and capacitor. It smooths the rectified DC voltage. The inductor inhibits current surges while the capacitor inhibits voltage surges. The VFD control circuit continuously monitors the DC bus voltage and triggers appropriate protective functions when the thresholds are crossed. The output inverter contains six switching devices that deliver power to the motor. IGBTs are widely used as switching devices in the inverter circuit for DC to AC conversion, for driving small to large motors. IGBTs for inverter applications are used in home appliances such as air conditioners and refrigerators, industrial motors, and automotive main motor controllers to improve their efficiency. Pulse width modulation or PWM technology is used in inverters to give a steady output voltage as the rated voltages depending on the country irrespective of the type of load connected. The control unit monitors and controls the rectifier, the intermediate circuit, and the inverter to deliver the correct output in response to an external control signal. Embedded microprocessor is used for all internal logic and decision requirements. There are three major VFD designs commonly used today. Voltage source inverter, current source inverter, and pulse width modulation. The PWM drive has become the most used drive controller because it works well with motors ranging in size from about 1 half HP to 500 horsepower. A significant reason for its popularity is that it's highly reliable, affordable, and reflects the least amount of harmonics back into its power source. Most units are rated either 230 volts or 460 volts, three phase, and provide output frequencies from about 2 Hz to 400 Hz. As their names imply, current source inverters are fed with constant current, 
while voltage source inverters are fed with constant voltage. Consequently, the output of a CSI drive is adjustable three-phase AC current, while a VSI drive produces three-phase AC voltage with adjustable magnitude and frequency. A key difference between CSI drives and VSI drives is their energy storage method. CSI drives use inductive energy storage, that is, they use inductors in their DC link to store DC energy and regulate current ripple between the converter and the inverter. Conversely, VSI drives use capacitive storage, with capacitors in their DC link, which both stores and smooths the DC voltage for the inverter. Primary applications for CSI drives are those that require torque control which is achieved by controlling current. They also typically have higher horsepower ratings than VSI designs. VSI drives, on the other hand, are well suited for highly dynamic applications, with fast changes in motor speed or torque, thanks to the fast switching times of IGBT devices. Benefits of VFDs Saves energy through capacity control for centrifugal pumps, fans, and compressors. Low inrush motors starting current by limiting the power and current delivered. Excellent control of motor speed, torque, and power. Reduces noise in thermal and mechanical stresses in rotating components. High power factor, it eliminates the need for power factor correction capacitors. Lower full load KVA, it alleviates voltage sags, brownouts, and power outages. Reduces current harmonics from 85% down to 30 to 35%. Some applications of VFDs include Precise speed control in induction motors with smooth starting and stopping used in conveyor belts, packaging, hoists and cranes, lifts, and escalators. Energy saving and automation used in airflow control applied cooling and air filter systems, heating systems, pumps, fans, blowers, refrigeration and drying. Machining tools due to higher efficiency and precision, used in downsizing of machines, spindle stock feed, as a driver for a cutter, CNC milling. Metering and monitoring system performances for fans, pumps and compressors applied in fault detection and diagnosis. Drawbacks of VFDs Higher initial cost as compared to standard PWM drives. Special motor design, insulation against heat as well as specified inverter rating. The drive setup parameters are complex. Disturbs main power line with distortion, line notching harmonics. VFDs are sensitive and their operation is affected by extreme cold and heat.